good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new action figure surgery episode for you guys, and I'm pretty excited for it, man. I'm actually really, really hyped to get into today's surgery. We got a lot of stuff going on. As you guys can see, WWE Elite Series 79 is on full display. We finally got all of the set reviewed, and today we're going to be fixing up a lot of the set. I think the only figures that we are not fixing up is Io Shirai and Xavier Woods, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a lot of good stuff in here. We also have some brand new base at Kevin Owens figures that we're going to be fixing up with our elites. And let me center this because this is absolutely driving me nuts. All right, that's a little bit better. So what we're going to do here today, we got to drive into all the stuff, guys. We got some acetone. We got some paint. We got a lot of things to do. So let's shut the hell up and get straight into it so we don't waste any more football time. As you guys know, this is episode number 52. We got a lot of paint in the freaking mix right here, which we'll talk about here in a minute. But let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to do here today, guys. Let's start off, I guess, with the Kevin Owens since he's front and center. We always start start off with who's on the stretcher, right? Or at least we should. If I haven't done that in the past, I'm going to start doing that. We're covering the guy on the stretcher first. So this is my updated Kevin Owens Elite 66 with the white boots. Pretty much exactly what he looks like on TV besides the head sculpt. He has all his tattoos on here. One thing I did notice about my figure is his shoulders loose over here and that makes me upset. You guys know Kevin Owens is probably my favorite wrestler in the world right now. So I'm excited to do this fix up here today. I have two Kevin Owens actually featured here today. One Elite 66 just stock that was on my shelf and and then we have the updated with the, with the tattoos there. What we're going to do today is we're going to use his brand new basic figures, which are back here. We have two of them. One of them has a head sculpt that I'm not really excited about. And one of them, his head looks a little bit better, which we'll get into. So this one on the left, I think, is the one that looks a little bit better. But he has some markings on his face that we're going to have to acetone off of there, which isn't a huge deal. But we are going to get this Kevin Owens head sculpt and put it onto the Elite. I think I'm going to put that head sculpt on the one with the tattoos. And then we're going to take this other the one which you guys can see for yourselves it's like it has that kind of like elite 80 problem where you can kind of see like the eyes like I don't know it's like there's an outline on them it, I definitely like the beard better you guys know I've been asking for a long thick beard Kevin Owens for a long long time so finally getting this basic is going to be epic we're going to take those head sculpts and we're going to paint them up to be more accurate we're going to get rid of that reddish brown color on the hair we're going to add some gray touch up to the beard going to fade the beard as much as we can and we're going to try to make two different Kevin Owens head sculpts to plop on this these, seal those up so that that Kevin Owens, both of these fix-ups will look absolutely fire. I'm really excited about those. Hopefully, we do not run into any issues, and that will be really sick fix-ups. So, we are going to hold off on those to the end, but I figured you guys would be hyped to see the paint job on those and seeing how we're going to fix those up if you guys want to do that fix-up yourselves. We, of course, have the rest of Elite Series 79 right here, and we have Daniel Bryan, which is the brand new Elite 79, and then we have the older Daniel Bryan, which is the Elite 73. What we're going to do with these is pretty much just remove this head sculpt from the new figure, put the GM Battle Pack Daniel Bryan head sculpt on the new Elite 79, and then take the extra head sculpt that came with the Elite 79 and put it onto the Elite 73. So I think that'd be pretty cool. This won't require heat. This will, though. Put this head over here, take this, put it away. Actually, this head sculpt's too damn nice not to use. I'm not going to use this one. That Those eyes are perfect. I got to put this head sculpt on this body because it's a better version of the Elite 73. So there you go. I'll, I'll put this head sculpt sculpt here, a basic head swap. So we have the head swap for the Daniel Bryans. We got the Kevin Owens heads that we got. So the next thing that we're going to get through, guys, is going to be another head swap, and we're going to take the Bobby Fish from Elite Series 79. You guys know that we have the Epic Moments here, and then we have the Elite 79 here in the War Games gear. This head sculpt is not good. If you watch my review of it, definitely go check out the review. We break it down even more, and we rank Elite Series 79 from worst to best. But this head sculpt is significantly better than this one, so we're going to definitely head swap these. That'll make the figure look 100 times better. Another thing I thought about doing was switching the lower arm here, like this lower arm over here. I don't think I'm going to do it today. Also, I'm going to lose the ability to switch hands, so that'll suck, but I don't know. I was just looking at it. I think the black sleeve over there with the rest of the attire would look pretty cool, but there you go. We're going to head swap those two guys. Another thing we're going to do with Roman Reigns is we are going to be head swapping this Roman Reigns right here, so we are going to put this over here. You're probably saying, MDT, this came with an interchangeable head sculpt. What are you thinking? Well, Brad, if you'll look closely, the interchangeable head sculpt does not have the beard on it, so I want the beard on it. And one thing I really want 
want to do, actually, is I want to put the pissed off Roman Reigns head sculpt on there. I really don't want to put this head sculpt because he's smirking. I really want to put the pissed off one on there, but this isn't really the Roman that I'm using for an updated Roman right now, so I don't know, Brad. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm probably going to track down a lot of this figure to do a bunch of Roman fix-ups because I love the way the torso and tattoo looks here, and I love the gauntlets and stuff, so I don't know. I'm still playing with stuff around. Ha. I like the other Roman better, you know? I'm going to use this for my updated Roman right now, so I'm not really worried about this right here. I am going to put this head sculpt over here because I don't want this promo smiling head sculpt on this, and uh, yeah, we're, we're definitely still going to do that fix-up, but I like this head sculpt better. I'm going to use this Roman as my current Roman just because I like the I like the head sculpt. I like the white boots. The Mike the Wrestling Collector fix-up is just fire, so we're definitely going to be doing that, and then the last thing that we're going to do, or not the last thing we're going to do, but one of the last things that we're, we're going to talk about we're going to do is boot swap these biggies. Would this not be a sick ass fix up? The yellow boots on the purple, pink, and blue attire will kind of make this, this big E look kind of MDT and then these light blue and white boots, they kind of look like the Elite 33 Batista boots actually. They, I pre, I'm pretty sure. Let me look. I'm pretty damn sure these are the exact same boots. If they're not, they're very, very similar. They may not be the exact same, but they're damn similar. We're going to switch these boots right here. I think the yellow over here will look super fire and the light blue and white will tie in here with the light blue on this little emoji there and I know the emojis are on here. I'm not really worried about it. If it looks god awful or tacky I can always acetone those designs off but these boots are sick. I think the yellow will look better over here on this Big E so we're gonna boot swap that and I think that'll be really fire. But that is everything we're doing on action figure surgery so let's shut the hell up and dive in to the action figure surgery episode number 52 right? Is it 52? I don't give a shit what the line is Tony. Alright guys, so I guess our first order of business is going to be the Big E boots. I say we're, it's going to be one of the last things we do, and then it's the first thing we do, Brad. So, I think we can actually knock out some of this together. I don't think we have to, you know, spend a ton of time switching out stuff and, you know, trying to do one thing at a time. We can definitely try and knock out two birds and one stone and everything like that. What's good about this Daniel Bryan head sculpt is it's interchangeable, you know? It's, it's interchangeable, so I can just remove it like that. I just realized I forgot about the little bite stab marks in his cheekbone. Maybe I can, I, I'll I might get this off when we do Kevin Owens because he's got a little mark on the nose as well. So we'll probably do this uh, later on in the video. But I'm going to get this head, move it off to the side, and we are going to heat up these boots while heating up the smiling Chuck Norris style head sculpt right there. So we are going to heat these up. I guess I can turn it to the side. God, stack on top of each other. So we're going to heat that up with that. Put it in there like 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 that, I guess. That, that works, I, I guess. And that may be all we can get right now. Uh, since this Roman Reigns head sculpt is also interchangeable, we could put this Roman head sculpt in there as well and just see how it goes. God in heaven, you idiot. All right, I think that's good enough. This head sculpt, again, is removable, so all you gotta do is just plop it off. God, I hate the way that sounds. Scary as hell. All right, we got our headless figures. We got all that. Now we need to heat these hoes up. All right, I'm actually afraid of the Roman Reigns head sculpt and the Daniel Bryan head sculpt. I don't know how much they got heated up, but, ooh, that's kind of stingy, Brad. God in heaven. Oh, my Jesus. Are we going to, like, pull the damn face off of the Roman? Like, holy hell. All right, so I figured out, like, getting it from the back is probably the best way to do it. But now that we're right here, let's go ahead and plop this Roman head sculpt over here. And we'll take a closer look at this at the end. Got that. Need to make this head sculpt interchangeable. That's what I need to do. So there's the one Roman. And then we got to get our Daniel Bryan body ready because we got to pop this head sculpt off. I'm pretty sure this head sculpt comes off pretty easily. God, look at that neck peg. That is a long AF neck peg. I'm actually surprised I didn't just destroy it. But all right, we got the Chuck Norris head sculpt onto the new Elite 79. We'll look at that at the end as well to look at Roman. Fairly simple stuff, but you guys know that that stuff like like changes everything. And then we have the interchangeable head sculpt that came with the Elite 79. I'm gonna plop that onto the Elite 73, which should be super fire. He does have the spider bite marks on his face though that we'll have to address later on. So I'm gonna put him in a different area to know that we gotta come back to him. Random Roman body. Then we have the boots of the Big E. Plopping that, plopping that, plopping that, plopping that. Go over here, plug and Jew. Don't know what the hell I'm saying. And plug and, plug and, ugh. Got it? Over here now, 
left foot. That's the right foot, you dumb idiot. And then plug in that here, and then plug in that there. And we'll look at that at the end as well. So now our big E's are finished, and now what we have to do is we have to move on to our Bobby Fash, and then we're going to get into our Kevin Owens, which is going to be so sick, nasty particles when that's completed. So we're actually going to have quite a few figures, because a lot of these figures are being swapped onto other figures, creating like two fix-ups at once. You know, we're not just using figures to make, you know, one figure. We're using the figures to make two different figures. And now that I have uh, started this, I'm thinking to myself, when I start heating up the these Kevin Owens, their shirts could get in the way, and that could... Now, nah, I don't think the shirts really, like, hurt it that much. I think it's just the Roman vest. The Roman vest get effed. But here we go. We're gonna put this here and just stack that KO on top right there. All right, that should be perfect right in the heat zone. We're going to actually... Uh, we gotta open up our basics, Brad. All right, we got the one basic open. Really love this head sculpt. I've been looking forward to this, man. I can't wait to get the Elite 80 Kevin Owens, man. We're going to fix that guy up. But we got to open our second Kevin Owens. And yeah, and just look at him. The one on the left is definitely better. It has better likeness. These eyes are just a little bit off somehow. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it, but it looks much better. That thick beard is sick, man. We're going to touch him up nice today, and we're going to get these head sculpts removed. Now, how we're going to do that, I guess we could just try and put them in the beam of light right here so we can complete the head swap and then paint it. But, you know, creating this fortress right here, I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see, but let's, let's just attempt it. Alright, baby, let's get it. Kind of afraid here, but let's start off with our new basics here. Uh, not as... The only thing I'm afraid of with the new basics is you don't want to freaking... You see how the beard is so long? If you push this up while it's hot like that, you will tear the damn jaw from the ear. So you gotta be really damn careful. I'm gonna try my best here. I'm actually... Oh, man. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, God. So difficult. Probably should have went with the water technique. I honestly would rather snap the damn head off. Snap the head off like at the peg and then remove the peg with pliers is what I honestly like to do. Because, damn, that's... It's getting scary. It's stretching really hard. I'll figure that out in a, in a minute. Because I've even done that with this other Kevin Owens, the Elite 66. I've done that with this head sculpt, and it has a way shorter beard. So we got the one head sculpt. We got to get the Bobby Fish off as well. What's up? Like, I love these long beard head sculpts, but you got to be careful because you could easily tear that jaw, man. I've done it many, many times before. Look, this one's starting to do it already. We got both head sculpts off. I'm not sure if either of them tore. I don't think they tore, but it's so easy to do so. You gotta be really, really careful with that. So now we gotta get this Bobby Fish head sculpt off. Don't really honestly care. This one came off easily, but I wouldn't even care if this head sculpt got torn, to be honest with you. All right, we got the new Elite 79 Bobby head on the Epic Moments. Now we gotta put the Epic Moments onto the Elite 79. Booyah. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. All right, so all the figures are completed except for our Kevin Owens and then our acetone Daniel Bryan. But I got to figure out a way to get these head sculpts on to these other bodies. Jesus Christ. All right, I got the one, and I think what I've learned to do is just kind of pinch it. Like, pinch it up. Okay, this is the worst one, so I'm going to put this one over here. Plop that on there. Felt like his neck kind of looks short. We'll look at it in a minute. Hopefully that's not the case, though. So yeah, if you're gonna switch this, guys, I, I what I did was if you if you have the basic, I think it's 111 series Kevin Owens. What you do is when you're heating up the basic, turn the head sculpt away and heat up the back of the neck, and then when you pull it off, grab it by the ears and kind of twist as you pull off. And I think that will probably give you the best result there. Um, the Kevin Owens neck peg probably being longer would help with in this case with this fix up because I feel like his neck may be a little bit short. I, I'm gonna see what it looks like when we stand him up right here before we paint. You guys know I love my long beards and my Kevin Owens, so. I don't know. I think it's going to work. I think that's going to be okay. What do you guys think here? Like, could it be longer? I feel like if it sat up just a little bit more, maybe, it would probably look better. But I don't know. That's that's not bad. And there's actually a way around it. All you got to do is remove the head sculpt and then put, like, a piece of paper down in the head sculpt, and it'll sit up a little bit higher. That's your way to get around that. But I don't know. Now I'm, like, my brain's tripping ball sack. I don't know if it's sitting too low or if I'm just being weird. Maybe it's just because the beard's so long. I don't know. But anyways, guys, I got to acetone off these marks on 
on the face. I don't think this one has any problems, but this one does. So I'm going to acetone off the marks on this face, and then we're going to start painting it. I'm going to do a mixture of this brown color and this black color to get like a darkish brown, which is what Kevin Owen, it's like darker than this. So I'm going to get that started. Then we're going to add that together with some water to get like the thinned out color, get it down onto the sides of the head into the beard to connect the, the bridge there. And then we are going to come back with this drizzle gray and dry brush some gray into the beard. So yeah, that's my plan here. Let's see if it works out. I'll see you guys after the compilation. So here's everything that we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 52. Let's go ahead and start off with Roman Reigns. Now this isn't the biggest deal. You guys know that this is pretty much what the interchangeable head sculpt already looked like, but it does have the added beard which I do like. And again, you know uh, it's not interchangeable now, but that's not the biggest deal to me. I'm not going to use it for my current Roman right now anyways, and I may have a tutorial style video for Roman Reigns going up tomorrow, so you guys can look forward to that regarding like an updated or, you know, uh, promo attire Friday Night Smackdown style 
Roman Reigns for 2020. But there is that. It doesn't look bad whatsoever. Next up, we do have Bobby Fish. And I mean, it's easy to say, right? I mean, this looks a million times better. Look how good that head sculpt looks on the Elite 79 War Games attire. And then look at this head sculpt on the Epic Moments. It kind of looks like this is how it was meant to go. This head sculpt's much better than this one over here. I like the hair color better. Just feels a lot better. This is so much better, man. That is a definite upgrade. I am definitely a much bigger fan of the Elite 79 over the Epic Moments, especially with that head swap right there. On to our Big E figure. This turned out about as good as I thought it would. Look at that light blue and white on that red, white, and blue attire. And then look at the freaking yellow with the pink, blue, and purple. Kind of reminds me of MDT right there, man. I'm, I'm digging that Big E figure right there. I absolutely love the yellow on the shoes. I think it ties in perfectly. Let me know which down below you like more. And if you guys like that switch, I like that switch. I think it's pretty unique. Next up is the Elite 73 and Elite 79 head swap here. And this turned out great as well. I did get those two dots off the cheek there. And the Elite 73 with the updated, you know, eye color there for Elite 79 with the interchangeable head sculpt looks great. And then this Chuck Norris, you know, battle pack Daniel Bryan head sculpt looks fantastic on the brand new Elite 79 Daniel Bryan. Perfect uh, face attire there with the beard and the head sculpt and the smile. That, that's beautiful. I love this head sculpt on this body. I think that turned out great. And for the main entree of the main event, I did run out of time here today, so I did not finish my second Kevin Owens. You guys can see that one coming together right there. But I did finish up the other, which is right here, so you guys can see. This is what we got going on with the Kevin Owens, and look how nice that looks with that updated color. Way better. Just way better. It's not a brownish red. The beard looks better. It makes the likeness look even better, and you guys can just see there. Please let me know what you guys think of that down in the comment section below. You have the fade on the sides and the back going down into the beard and then into the thick part. I don't know if you can really see the gray in the beard as much as I'd like you to. It was just a simple dry brush technique there, but I do love this head sculpt. I think it looks fantastic and I can't wait to get more of it. Hopefully I'll find it at retail or maybe it'll come down in price and I can buy a bunch of them so we can update it and put it on an MDT Kevin Owens because I want him to look like that on MDT, but then you know he always gets busted open and if I'm painting head sculpts and stuff, uh, usually I get a new Kevin Owens for shows and pick feds anyway, so I mean it'd probably just stay that way forever, but I don't know. Still pretty cool. I like the way it looks and I am very, very satisfied with this head sculpt and the updated KO. Very beautiful overall. I would love to know what you guys think below. I still gotta finish this one over here, but can you guys see the eyes and what I'm talking about? This one clearly has more likeness. The eyes over here look just a little bit off or something. But anyways, guys, that does it for everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. God, just looking at the tattoos on that KO with the head sculpt is absolutely immaculate. Very blown away by the results of that. Very happy with it, but I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my damn toys, and subscribe to the channel. Please leave me a like if you enjoyed the surgeries. Comment down below what your favorite fix-up and custom is, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.